Should I look at the camera look, or look at you? Right here. Okay. Right here. So when yeah. we talk about this, right? You, you know, C3, Cliff Fretwell, the ultimate organizer of events. Um, Jersey, probably underserved for, you know, probably the top, one of the hotbeds, four hotbeds in the country, you know, Western PA, Lehigh Valley, Northeast Ohio, and Jersey. Everybody knows that. And then you got Central Valley out in California, you know, incredible recruiting grounds. Well, in those we're places. headed out there. They've been here. We're going back. Buchanan's coming to see us this year. Clovis has been here twice. We've been out there twice. So you guys are pretty, I, you know, the guys I'm seeing from Bergen Catholic in here, okay, not to mention you've got the all time greatest Jersey wrestler in the history of the state. Nick Soriano. Yeah, Soriano. Yes. You know, he's back in Jersey now. Yes. Um, you guys can buzz down and watch a, a dual meet in an hour, right? Yeah. We got potentially five guys in the starting lineup at Rutgers. That's incredible. That's incredible. So, so you know, just looking at it, how does this, this come to fruition with you guys bringing C3 to Bergen Catholic? It was Cliff's idea. Um, through one of our assistant coaches, Joey Trous, um, he had been talking to Cliff. Cliff. Cliff mentioned it to him. I spoke with Cliff. And he asked about the possibility. And in the way we spoke early on, and I gave him dates, and he wasn't sure if they were gonna work, and about, I'm gonna say three weeks ago, he said, hey, are we on? So we got together at the last moment, but it's great to have him here. It's certainly great to have him. You know, you guys get a ton of exposure and a ton of attention. Like you just said, you're wrestling coast to coast teams. You guys don't back down from anyone. It's actually pretty incredible and fun to watch. You know, Thank you. Watching your talent here, man. I mean, it blows me away. You guys are always, it doesn't look like a rebuild ever. It's always a reload for you guys. Um, how do you guys stay at such a high level? Um, I, it's been years, so it's, it has been an overnight thing. This, I'm going to my 19th year of coaching here. And it's been a steady build, and our aim was always looking at demographics, looking at St. Ed's. I was always a St. Ed's fan. And so we, we're a uh, similar uh, location. You know, socioeconomic area, all boys school. Um, we could be a St. Ed's, but it took time, and it took. You know, we, we've taken our beatings from Blair. We've taken our beatings from Sam, and kids had to buy in. And finally, after years and years of buying in, we're you know hit Johnny Sebastian, um, first like three time state champ, uh, Brian Nunziato going back, Joey Trous, all these kids is building blocks and. And Nick Soriano, the Joe Grello. So I think we've hit our stride in the past like six years. Do you guys think you can continue to build and, and you know be on the Clovis level, be on the St. Ed's level, Sam Blair? Because it's different. It's a different landscape. It's, those are prep, two of those schools are prep boarding schools. It is. It's tough. right. It's that's tough. crazy, right? Every, t every time I think that we're we're catching, and that's Sam and Blair. You know they always have they have an edge, but we'll skip, we'll keep chasing them. Um, in terms of staying, I'd, I'd like to think that our foundation, our building block is there and we're just kind of hitting the, those new levels. I think where we are now, we have some depth, we have a lot of talent, and we're still young. We'll lose Shane Griffith, Carmen Ferrante, and Gerard Angelo, and Sage Mosco, but we have guys stepping in, which is to keep up with those teams, you, you need that depth. So many clubs around here. It's like amazing. Like Inundated. 20, 30 clubs. Do you battle with them? Do you work with them? How do you balance between the clubs? How do you do it? It's it's always an open policy. I don't, as a coach, I don't suggest clubs. It's a personal preference. Um, kids, I look at it as if they want to go to club, they're getting better. You know, they're they're helping the program. They're helping themselves. They're helping the program. Um, so pretty much it's laissez-faire like that. You want to go to club, you go to club. And we have a fairly good relationship with all the clubs. And it's, you, you're walking a fine line. You know, you have kids from different clubs and, you know, without, you don't want to promote. And the clubs, you know, they look at some of our guys and they would like to have them come there, but it's, it's pretty much personal choice. It's on the guys. It's on you the leave guys. it on them. On the guys. That's a pretty good open-end policy. Uh, where do you see you guys? Uh, where are you going to be at? What's the biggest event you think you're going to be at this year, like schedule wise? Well, we have, so we start the Beast. Uh, Graham, uh, Paris A. Graham is coming. So Graham? Graham is coming. You got to the, the Beast. Falcons out of Ohio? Well, we didn't, but they did, so they committed to go, so that's great. We get to see them. Um, then we have. We they haven't have, been out of Ohio in like for a tournament. It's I think been a like long ten years, time. twelve years, something like they, that. They one year we were at the Beast. They were at the Beast. Maybe 07, 06? Yeah, it's around something that time. crazy like that, right? Then we go out to we go out to Doc Buchanan. Then a week later we host who's number one with Flo. Is that and, in 
Pennsylvania? We're gonna have it here. It's right in front oh, of the Oh, it's here. Six. Wasn't at the Plastra? Started as our event, the Garden State Games. We yeah. held the Rutgers. Um, Flo said we had Clovis and Blair coming out, and they said you got some good teams. We want to do a dual meet tournament. Can we partner? So we partnered with them. Uh, we moved it to the Palestra. Then Willie thought it'd be a good idea to bring it to the Lehigh Valley, and it was it was okay. We had, we had, Willie thought that, huh? He, yeah, he <laughs> thought it'd be a good idea. Um, so uh, this year, thinking about the whole, we have six teams or five now. We need one more. It's it Malvern. It's hammer, Blair. Hammer team. Blair, Malvern Prep, Bergen Catholic, uh, Lake Highland Prep, and Buchanan. Buchanan's coming out. So it'll be a. It'll someone a, really good's not going to want a match. We need yes. Someone, someone really, really good's not going to want a match. Exactly. We had Montini. Wow. Montini was. Uh, they're going to the Clash. So I mean, can you blame them? That's pretty no, good. Their 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 commitment to the Clash. They couldn't get out to come here. Yeah. So. We two, uh, two like round robin, three team round robins, and then we'll break it out for a final. Um, then we have we go we finish our season like our last dual meet weekend will be a tri meet. Right now it's tri with St. Ed's and Sam. Someone really good's so gonna have two losses that weekend. Yeah. So <laughs> so in effect, out of the top eleven teams from 2017. Uh, we'll see everyone. Seven or, we'll see them all on the mat. You're going to see them all. All on the mat. Whether it's a tournament or a duel, we'll see them all. That's so, incredible, Coach. So we'll prove it on the mat. So that I'm be impressed, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got kids doing testing downstairs. You got anything else for me? No, I'm just glad you're here. I'm excited. I hope this is something that we can keep up and, and build on. Like, you know, that clip is satisfied. It goes well. Um, watching him work and watching the, the kids work. You know, he has a... He, incredibly well organized and you know hopefully we can keep this going and get more kids.